Number one, shape. The most common eye shape is the almond, but you can turn it into different eye shapes by slicing the almond. Well, obviously not like that. Uh, I'm just gonna show you using examples. Let's draw hooded eyes. Get your almond, and then you slice it like this. Now sketch the eye using this as a guide, and then draw a circle. Erase the top and there you go. Quick disclaimer though, my art style is mixed with anime so it might look really stylized. But you can use the almond to draw other shapes such as upturned eyes and downturned eyes. Yeah, so in a nutshell, you just have to draw these four lines as the basic eye and the circle of course. You just have to play around with it and then change the angle to get different shapes. Number two, anatomy. No, I'm not gonna explain the uh, biological terms like sclera. Cornea, lacrimal carunk, huh? Caruncle, caruncle, caruncle. We need to draw the other things that completes the eye, like eyebrows and eyelashes. For lower eyelashes, I usually add some space below the eye. This is just artistic choice, I guess. I don't have any scientific explanations. I flunked most of my scientists. <clears throat> I only draw two lower lashes and leave out the upper lashes for now because we're going to paint this later. The... I don't know what to call it. The eyelid gap? Let's just call it that. It gives the character the sense of coolness, detachment, fatigue. You don't like the eyelids? You can leave it out and draw the monolith's eyes instead. Next is the eyebrows, one of the most important part of the face to show expressions. Just by changing the angles, you can change the expressions of your character. It can also show the personality of your character. For example, thinner and rounder eyebrows can suggest youthfulness and feminine character, while thicker and angular eyebrows suggest more masculine character. Draw the outline of the eyebrows first. My go-to expression is detachment with a splash of fury and constipation. And then draw strands of hair on top. Draw the hair loosely on the beginning and the end of the eyebrows. Okay, now duplicate to make the other eye. Sometimes when you duplicate the other eye, the iris can look weird. So just erase and redraw it and all is good. Or you can also use the symmetry ruler in Ibis Paint that works as well. Number three, placement. By now, I assume you wanna draw the eyes in a face. And for that, we need to understand where to place the eyes. The general proportion is you cut the head in half, and this will be the middle of the eyes. And the distance between them is one eye apart. But you can also exaggerate the proportion. For example, I like to make the eyes bigger to make it more anime. Also, I like to add these lines just to frame the top of the nose. Number four, coloring. Now it's time to shade the eyes. By the way, I changed the direction he's looking at because... You know, I, I get nervous when Senpai is looking at me. Also, I just realized his hair might be distracting because it's covering the eyes. So thankfully, I prepared the bold version. Look at that smooth, soft, boiled egg. First, use airbrush to add soft shadows. Generally, I leave the middle of the eyelids and this area below the eyebrows without shadow to create depth and dimension. Add soft shadows below the eyes for the aegyosal or the under eye fat, and then extend it to create the blush. I never color the white part of the eyeballs, I just shade it with skin color. I really don't have any excuse, I'm just freaking lazy. But I will show you how I change the color later on. After that, use the lasso tool to map out the hard shadow, which is the stronger shadows that you can see here. I usually add hard shadows here, under the eyebrows, the tail of the eyes, and then extend it to the aegyosal, but just half of it. And then, use the airbrush to add the hard shadows. Leave some area in lighter shadow for depth. Now you can fix the shadow by using soft eraser and hard brush. The brush I'm using is this one, Pencil Graphite. I use it for sketching, shading, painting, everything. If there are comments in this video still asking what brush I'm using, I know you're not watching up until this point. To fix the shadow, always use low opacity brush so you can blend easily. Intermission! As a thank you for 150k subscribers, I set up a poll asking you guys how we can celebrate. And a lot of you want me to draw your original character or OC. So that's what we're gonna do. Use this hashtag Fong draw my OC on Instagram so I can take a look at your OC and draw some of them. I will probably pick two to three OCs or more if we have the time. So I got a question, can you submit gacha OC? And to be honest, I don't really know what that is. According to Google, it's a game when I feel really old. But to answer your question, yeah sure go ahead. But I would prefer if it's your own drawing though. Again, use the hashtag FongDrawMyOC under your OC post on Instagram. And back to the video. Number 
five, six, I don't know, I lost track. The iris. For the iris, I just erase the sketch because it makes the iris look bigger than I want. And then redraw it on another layer. So if we mess up somewhere, let's be honest, that happens a lot, it doesn't affect the other area. Now let's apply shadows on the top of the iris. It's darker there because of the eyelids. I also extend the shadow to the side of the iris just a little to make the iris look more prominent. Now with darker color, draw tiny circles for the pupils. And then add lighter color on the lower part of the iris. Usually this is the part that gets a lot of highlights, but let's let's save the highlights for later. So yeah, let's leave the iris like this, so we can move on to number 7, I think. Which is the painting. Okay, I know it looks ugly right now, but if you add too many details, it will be harder to paint because you have to deal with too many things. Okay, anyway, painting. Oh wait, actually, let me add a bit of orange. There we go. I merge all the layers so that I can paint over the sketch. I'm gonna color the eyebrows first and then add strands of hair. I don't have like the right way to draw eyebrows, but from what I observe after researching and collecting so many eyebrows, which is just creepy. No, I did not do any of that. I'm, I'm just joking. But uh, from what I observe, the eyebrow hair changes angle right around here. They're also lighter on the beginning and the end of the eyebrows. I'm not a fan of like really straight eyebrows, so I draw the hair strands loosely on top of it. Alright, now start lining the upper lash line with thicker brush. I recommend using really dark color or just use black for this because it makes the eyes stand out even more. Fix the shadow on the eyelids with low opacity brush. Remember to leave the middle of the eyelids in lighter color, also on the corner of the eyes. And then paint over this line here and extend it to the half of the egg yosal. Now for the lower lash line, use dark red or brown instead of black so it doesn't look very harsh. This applies to the lower lashes as well. After that, use the same color to define the eyelids even more. I think it's time we bring back the hair. As you can see, I already add some shadows below the hair and it will be awkward to look at if he stays bald. Here you go. Oh, damn it. Okay, there we go. Now that we've painted the eyes, we can focus on the details, starting with the iris. I'm gonna fix the pupil first because the orange of Al Haytham's pupil is diamond shape. I outline his iris because I prefer it to be more defined. But if you prefer painty or blurry eyes, you can skip this step. I also repaint the lighter color on his iris because the previous one was too detailed and messy. See, you should just do the details later, just procrastinate, you know. Also, I like to add some purple to the eyes, but this is completely optional. I just like to add purple to everything. Okay, remember the white part of the eye, the one I'm too lazy to color? Create new layer on top and choose color. Now pick a gray color. I like to pick the color a bit closer to red so the color doesn't look out of place compared to the skin. Still working on the details, let's add the upper lashes. Draw longer lashes on the tail of the eyes. Wait, let me show you with the bold version. Yeah, so draw the lashes longer here, draw it in a curved shape, and alternate between thick and thin lines. I'm changing to this brush and then pick the skin color and sort of highlight the upper lashes. This method seems pretty popular, I've seen a lot of artists done it, and not gonna lie, it does look prettier this way. I'm also gonna highlight the lower lashes a little for that extra sparkle. Speaking of sparkle, let's not forget the small highlight. I always place it near the pupils. Create multiply layer and add light red around the eyes. I heard somewhere that adding red around the eyes makes you look more lovable and I mean, how can you not love him? Come on. Adding dull purple will darken the shadows, which makes the eyes deeper and more defined. To add lighter and more saturated color, create overlay and apply pink or red or orange, especially on egg and the eyelids. To make the eyes pop, add highlights using add layer. Apply highlights on the middle of the eyelids, lower part of the eyeball so it looks wet, not dry and crusty, tear duct, and also lower lash line. Okay, we are done. Do not forget to use the hashtag FongDrawMyOC so I might draw your OC. Yeah, that was weird. Bye!